my goodness, that is mental. That is mental. <laughs> This is amazing! Oh my god, this is amazing! New bike day has come again. This time we've gone for something much more sporty, much more mental, uh, a CB1000R, which is uh, a naked bike as well. And uh, <laughs> just waiting for this rain to go off. So but just look at, it's a single sided uh, swing arm for the wheel. Uh, the first thing I need to do is actually, although I've got this from the insurance company, the uh, the chain has come and it's very loose, as you can see, super loose. So first thing we're going to do, take this off to uh, Two Wheels uh, Honda dealership in Edinburgh and get them to tighten up the chain because trying to figure out how to do that, that's not something I can do. So not with just a simple trusty spanner. So uh, yeah, let's uh, take this out for a ride slowly and gently while the chain's so loose and get them to tighten it up and let's see what this is like on the road. <laughs> One thing's for sure this is a very unusual very high seating uh, position straight off the bat but actually quite a comfortable up upright position but just uh, I'm more used to being really e I'm 32 inch uh, inside seam I think and that is me Ooh, oh yeah, okay, I can flat foot it, but that is tight around here. Um, okay, but yeah, that's get, getting off and on. Ooh, need to work on that, that glute muscle. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, you have to be athletic for this. Right, let's just say, uh, get her turned on, idled up, and uh, see what she sounds like. I like having keys there instead of down at the side, that, that's nice. Um, okay, nice uh, bright coloured screen there. Okay, actually before we do anything, what else have we got? Got horn. Yeah, that's loud enough. Mode, rain. Oh yes, well we put it in rain because it's just been raining. So power's low, engine braking's me three, two thirds, traction control's on full. Uh, indicator down there, fine. That's better placement. Don't know what this does. Oh yeah, changes all your fuel things. Cool, I want to know, uh, function, don't know what function does, and yeah, and lights. Okay, I think we're, we're pretty good to go. Okay, let's hear this boy. comfortable seat actually yeah no no complaints about that and it's a low speed throttle control certainly in rain mode so much better than the Honda Rebel smooth delivery certainly in rain mode we'll test out uh, sports mode later on but being nervous just now here let's uh, let's see if we can practice some uh, gear changes but uh, indicator position all good rear brake on first, that's fine. Good balance, easy to hold, staying upright without having to put my foot down. Smooth, smooth delivery. I'm liking that, it's just straight away smooth delivery. Okay, and it's really starting to rain, so this sucks ass. 
So, oh, but we're ready to go. Right, let's just go. Which way should we go? Let's go this way. Oh man, I'm in the rain. Oh, this is not a good way to start a bike ride. Oh. And definitely straight away easier for like in your um, motorbike lessons. You're always taught to put your left foot down whenever you're coming to a stop. So much easier on this uh, higher up bike to put uh, just your left foot down compared to the kind of cruisers and heavier bikes that I've been using. Uh, it's, it is a lot lighter as well than all those other bikes as well. So yeah, feels good. Not quite confident to start weaving through the traffic here, but um, we'll uh, I'll get for a ride. Try and get out of the rain. We'll get some more video footage later on. Okay, this is what I would call some of the scariest roads in Edinburgh. Steep downhill, wet cobbles, um, having to do corners through as well. So let's see how badly this goes. Or how well it goes. It might go really well. Right. Nobody safe, safe, safe. Okay, there we go. Absolutely terrifying this. Okay, and then we're taking a right into Anne Street. So on a hill, on cobbles, on a corner. Right, into, oh yeah, we are in first. Yeah, no worry about that. Nobody behind. Staying up high. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, we're okay. Yeah, okay. Woo and gonna park the car wherever we want. It's not a car, it's a bike. Permanent holders only. I think I can park in permanent holders only. We'll find out. Right, on a hill, got to remember that. Job complete, now time to... <laughs> Sun's out now, so we can go for a ride. Let's see, lens clean, looking good. It's, uh, it's just a bit terrifying, this big sports bike. This amount of horsepower on wet cobbly roads where you're sitting high up compared to like a low down cruiser. But uh, it is what it is, let's see where, where we go from here. There's a, it's just it's like an angry bunch of bees right between your legs that are just all desperate to go and sting everyone it seems like but uh, yeah rain coat off mm, sun over that way clouds over that way that's uh oh god jingle bells you need to be fucking flexible for this uh, right okay here, let's get this camera up okay so just getting used to how much you can rev it. So I was like, wait, oh, I'm going mental on the revs on the way here. And it was only at 6,000 revs. And it can still go up to like 11 and a half or just over 11,000. So uh, that getting used to that kind of mentalness is, uh, is quite interesting. Okay, so oh, do I want to go, this is, this is actually terrifying. Do I want to go up this road or do I not? Because this becomes steeper, might go back. Right, get in first. Okay. Foot on rear brake for control. Slow speed maneuvers. Control. Ah, uh, like sun's coming out now. It's also going over cobbles. I'm just worried that the, is, the bouncingness is going to make the chain actually fully bounce off the bike, which could be a massive ball ache. But again, coming to a stop, it's, it's smooth on the brakes. Let's head off. Get a bit more confidence going over cobbles. Check nobody's coming. We have right of way. And oh my god, bumpity bump bump bump. Don't think I'd use this as a commuter. But at the same time I was uh, getting through all the traffic quite easily. So already I'm thinking I need to change gear, but we're not even at 3000 revs. It's just so angry all the time. But yeah, it's, it's good enough for me on cobbles at what I think is high rest to take one hand off and adjust the camera. You know, that's this level of um, I'm feeling confident with it already. So yeah, digging it. Right, down here, taking a right. Foot on 
one rear brake just gently covering it as we go around the corner and oh, onto normal tarmac oh thank goodness for that oh i think cobbles give you confidence on tarmac that's for sure right and very easy very easy finding neutral turn off indicator very easy finding neutral quite happy with that happy with that position oh, uh, wing mirrors are good as well our rear rear mirrors are good uh okay we're in rain maybe we can change up oh, let's change it out of rain once we get up here Whee! it certainly feels like it's got all the torque it needs at low revs as well i don't feel like i'm ever lugging it Whee! oh my god oh my god oh. jingles here road driving come on go for it go for it buddy go for it go for it go for it go for it i'm gonna go for it sorry humans oh uh they're indicating that way Should I change out a ring? I might change out a ring. How the chop to do that? Function? Function? No. 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 Function. Mode. User. Sports. I might not go to sports, I'll go to standard. Oh, it's hot. It is actually really hot. Okay, indicate right. It's nice and safe. Very easy to like balance as well. Quite surprised by how easy it is to balance. Maybe it's because it's so light. I don't know. Well, that should be the opposite of making it easier, I guess. So, edge a little bit further forward to see our space. every day and I still don't have a scooby where I'm meant to go just now so there's a big red cross down here but I didn't see any indications of where I'm not allowed to go here except buses cycles and taxis so does that mean I'm not allowed to go like I thought I was allowed to go in this buses lanes 
Right. I'm going to do a first time on a litre bike, that was shockingly not difficult. Right. Still going to get used to the, the feathering of the throttle a little bit. Oh, especially now that I'm in standard mode, that's why. Okay, I'm going to take a left here, I think I can do that. Indicator off. Good riding was 
position. Like it's, I'm not feeling like I'm uh, totally hunched over. And oh, oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh. Had to, had to, had to. That was a gentle one as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, not hunched over. Uh, my knee position is all quite good. Yeah. And like, I'm not getting a sore tailbone being in this kind of uh, more forward position. But now I'm kind of used to where the foot pegs are and all that. Great. Okay. It's just mental. First question, does it have the look back factor? Uh, I don't know, don't know if it does, but as soon as you turn it on, it's got the, the wow factor, that's for sure. 
So the wow factor when it's going. Look back factor, I think maybe if it wasn't all black. Um, I've seen it where it's white with like blue stripes and stuff. I thought that looks really cool. Um, but uh, in all black, not, it, it's quite undercover is what it is. Right, let's, let's fill it up with some of the best fuel it, known to man. 99 Ron. Let's head out for a, for a hoon. Head out for a hoon. Ooh. Got to somehow figure out how I unlock this. Push down, that's it. Yeah, so that's the, the steering lock is done right there. I like that, okay. It helps if we turn it on. Well, uh, yeah. Midlife crisis. <laughs> right. Okay, we're rolling. shaking me around but that is just that's that's an experience that's an amazing experience just how mental they're just mental no way to describe it it's like it's like wow so cool but yet at the same time it can totally just chill around with this but it really makes you want to push it. I can't wait until I get the chain tightens and confident in that.
this is amazing. Oh my God, this is amazing. Just wow. Just holy, holy smokes. That's so cool. A couple of uh, bends back there, which are great ones to really practice your counter steering. And uh, they, oh, this, this, was, this was made for that. Uh, I, oh, <laughs> I want to just go like practice those two corners over and over and over and just build up that confidence and uh, that, you know, really working on that counter steering around the corners. But yeah, this, this bike is something else. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Again, the Rebel 1100, which was a cruiser bike, I didn't feel confident taking my hands off. This is in wind down a hill and getting a bit slow there, but otherwise, amazing. Head nod. Again, this is the this is the bit which is absolutely blowing me away. I've just gone full hell for leather round sweeping bends, touching 100 kilometres an hour. We'll call that. Um, and uh, but yet, once you get into this place, it's not twitchy, it's not snatchy, it's not trying to kill me. It's very easy to ride slowly and controlled, even in sports mode. In a town. That that is that's the most shocking part of this. Is that it actually does both. And it does both really well. Like really well. Like don't understand. How does it do it? Magic! <laughs> Okay, so this is what I would call an absolute roundabout of hell. There's about one, two, three, four lanes. Three, one, two, three, four, five lanes. We're in a three lane. It's just absolute chaos here. There's a FXR, a Holly Dixon FXR, I think it is. Nice. Um, and, uh, but yeah, on this bike, I'm feeling totally confident. Not going to be worried about... Oh, I said it again. That sounded good. Um, oh, I can still hear it. Uh, this, this is not nerve inducing just now. I know I'm going away over to that uh, exit over there, so I'll put the indicator on. We go to that. And again, because I just feel like I'm so planted on this, so balanced, uh, and not feeling like I'm worried about revving it too much or getting too much, you know, not having enough power or torque or anything. This is just absolutely fine. Right, I think I need to go into...
like when you go to an arcade and you've got those like motorbike simulator games where you can sit on them. That's what this feels like. Oh! good this bike is. Oh! So well planted, so well balanced. Can we go around the corner? No hands. Yes we can. Maybe we should. chain has been tightened that's how it's meant to be nice okay let's go okay as i take off oh, okay i'm going to change the mode standard mode for in city riding just in my rear view mirrors for police cars. <laughs> oh, there's a police car there. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna get me in so much trouble it's like. Oh and another police car. That's right. thinking just now is because this bike is just constantly screaming at you, screaming at me, um, yeah, it kind of makes you, you know, even doing 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, average speed camera kind of stuff, it still feels like an absolute event is going on. It still feels like a massive deal. Um, you're not, it's not chill, it's that full, <laughs> it just feels like it's like rage mode and it's just simmering rage when you're at 20, 30 miles an hour second gear and it's just still like oh, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry. So you, like it, it still it feels fast still at 30 miles an hour. I love it. slim enough to make it through that.
there's definitely an extra surge of power after about six and a half thousand revs that is mental oh.